in this class we discuss the convergence of two improper integral so this is a class of improper integration from real analysis right and here we take two problem the first one is integration 0 to 1 log x by root under 1 minus x dx and the second one is integration 0 to 1 log of 1 minus x by root x dx if we see very carefully these two problem have no difference that is two problem are same why same if we put 1 minus x this is equal to z in the second problem then the problem as dx this is equal to minus dz so this problem is reduces to integration 1 to 0 log z by root under this is 1 minus z and minus dz and so if we minus and the range is alternate then this is becomes integration 0 to 1 dz sorry log z dz by root 1 minus z so this is same as the first problem okay so the second problem hands first problem have no difference so if we solve the first one then automatically solve the second problem right now to solve the first problem we use two result the first one is very very important test known as comparison test of limit form and this says that if a is only point of infinite discontinuity of f of x and g of x which are both integral sorry this is not integral this, this is integrable integrable and positive value in a plus epsilon to b for 0 less epsilon less b minus a and if limit x tends to a plus 0 fx by gx this is equal to l and this is not equal to 0 not equal to infinity that is the finite okay then both the integration together converge or diverge this is the first case and if the limit is 0 then we say that integration a to b fx dx is convergent only when integration a to b gx dx is convergent right and in the last case if the limit is infinity then integration a to b fx dx is divergent only when integration a to b gx dx is divergent okay so second and third case if this integration is convergent then this convergent and the third is if this divergent then this integration is divergent and the second result we use here this is integration a to b dx by x minus a whole to the power mu is convergent if and only if mu less than 1 ok and integration a to b dx by b minus x whole to the power mu is convergent if and only if mu less than 1 these two are very important result of improper integration now we deal with our problem the problem number 1 we see that if x tends to 0 then log x this is tends to minus infinity or x tends to 0 plus log x tends to minus infinity so we say that 0 is the point of infinite discontinuity for this integration and similarly if we take x tends to 1 then root under 1 minus x tends to 0 so 1 by root under 1 minus x tends to infinity so this is also a point of infinite discontinuity for this reason we split the interval sorry we split this interval 0 1 into two interval okay like 0 to half half to 1 or maybe 0 to 1 third 1 third to 1 or another way okay and at first here we give a small change in the function because log x 
log x is negative in 0 to 1 because the graph of log x is like this right this is the point 1 this is the point 0 and the log x is negative in the interval so we take a minus and minus here okay to transfer this function which is taken to be f of x is positive because we want to use the comparison test and it is given that both are integrable and both are positive values okay now let this is f of x and the integration is minus 0 to 1 fx fails and if we take integration 0 to 1 minus log x by root 1 minus x dx this is integration 0 to 1 fx dx ok and this is minus this function and if we see that this integration is convergent then minus of this integration is also convergent now we take this is 0 to half fx dx plus integration half to 1 fx dx Okay, and we name this two integration as i1 plus i2 because in i1 here 0 is the only one point of discontinuity and in i2 1 is the only one point of discontinuity. Now we consider the case of i1. What is i1? i1 this is equal to integration 0 to half fx dx. And in this case, we take gx, this is equal to 1 by root x. And it is written as 1 by x minus 0 to the power half. Here, mu, this is equal to half less than 1. So, integration 0 to half gx dx is obviously convergent. Okay. Now, we take the limit, limit x tends to 0 plus x tends to 0 plus fx by gx and this gives limit x tends to 0 plus minus log x by root 1 minus x into root x because fx by gx is this okay and this is equal to limit x tends to 0 plus minus we write outside of limit log x by root under 1 by x minus 1. So this is of the form infinity by infinity that is indeterminate form and we use here L hospital rule and using this we get limit x tends to 0 plus the derivative of log x this is 1 by x and this is 1 by 1 by 2 into root 1 by x minus 1 because this is the derivative of root x and this is minus 1 by x square okay so this is minus limit minus minus plus we cancel the minus x tends to 0 1 by x 1 by x cancel out so we get the result as x by sorry this is x into root 1 by x minus 1 by 2 and we get limit x tends to 0 this is root x into root 1 minus x by 2 so this is equal to 0 okay and since we get the limit this is equal to 0 so we use the comparison test of case 2 right and we already say here mu equal to half so this integration is convergent right and since this integration is convergent so it must be convergent for case 2 so we say that the integration i1 this is integration 0 to half fx integration 0 to half fx dx is convergent. So, i1 is convergent. Right. And now, we consider the case of i2. 
and in this case we take g of x this is equal to 1 by 1 minus x whole to the power half and here mu this is equal to half less than sorry less than 1 and limit x tends to 1 minus 0 fx by gx and this is obviously this is very simple x tends to 1 minus 0 log x and which is 0 because log 1 0 and here also we use the second case of compartment test and we know that integration integration half to 1 half to 1 gx dx is convergent so we say that integration half to 1 fx dx is also sorry fx dx is also convergent so this is our second integration i2 this is also convergent so we say that i1 and i2 both convergent so the sum of two convergent integration is also convergent and this is integration 0 to 1 fx dx is convergent and since integration 0 to 1 fx dx is convergent so integration 0 to 1 fx dx negative of fx dx is also convergent so our given integration 1 is convergent okay this is very very important problem and we use this to test or this to result of improper integral. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for watching.